up your head, beat up your body Get on the bus, it's time to party It's Gregory, it is a Friday night Gregory Take your socks off and take your pants on Get in the car and drive Welcome to Friday Night Greg, Friday Night Energy on a Wednesday morning Hey folks, hey folks, let's get this straight I don't have my headphones on so I feel weird that's all right. I don't need headphones. Um, today we are recording from the palace, Greg's home, my home. I got a good, great guest. I'm going to bring him in in a second. But I got to do the dirty work, dogs. I got to start. I got to tell you where I'm going to be at first before we do. Before we get into this. First, uh, next week. When is this drop, Maxim? Maxim? Um, Wednesday. Wednesday the 5th. I'll yeah. be in L.A. So I will be at the Comedy Store, if you're in L.A., on the 7th in the Belly Room. Uh, I think it's like a 7 o'clock show. So if you're in L.A. and you want to see me, I'm not out there often. I'll be there on the 7th. Uh, also, uh, I will be headlining Levity Live in Nyack on October 14th. Get tickets for that. Two shows. going to be great. Uh, the 28th, I'm in Hope, PA. More information to come on that. Check out my Instagram to follow that bullshit. And then November 4th. Through the uh, fifth or or Thursday, f- the third, fourth, and fifth, I'll be at Mohegan Sun in Connecticut, headlining out there. I don't know. I say headlining. It's like yeah, that's what I'm doing, bro. That's I don't gotta say it. You know, no big deal, bros. Um, those are some dates I got. Also, if you are a Patreon subscriber, get your dick in the Discord. We are, and if you don't know what this, I didn't know what Discord was. It is a fucking. It's a group chat with me and like 16 other people right now. We just hang in the fuck out. Join the Patreon. It's five bucks a month. You get access to old Rad Dude Cast episodes. A bunch of episodes I didn't realize were, were locked. They're all unlocked now. Uh, you get Friday Night Greg episodes. You get uh, the Deal With It episodes. You get Night Cream concerts. <clears throat> it's all there. Now you get access to the Discord chat where we're all, it's the greatest community of people. Shout out to Pimperk19 and Fabicu and uh, my man Curse McGurs. Oh, first of all, here with my man Andy Fury. We'll say what up, Andy. Hey, buddy. How are you? We're going to get into this. Andy Fury's yeah. got a great special coming out called Check Right. When's that drop? Thursday, Thursday, what? October 6th. Next Hell. Thursday. Hell yeah, dog. Yeah. I, I saw it. It's great. You were a part of the naming process. Remember many years ago? We I were demanded talking it. about. You were like, that's got to be the title right there. Did you ever put that joke in there? Yeah, it's in there. It's the name of the special. All right. Just making sure. I thought maybe you just named it just for me. <laughs> Shout out real quick to Curse McGurst. Curse McGurst goes, I said, yo, I'm in here. Anyone got any questions for Andy Fury? Yeah. And they went, Shout out to Merc Faze. Ah, oh, love Man, you, I got, Curse. I got jealous. My man. Uh, I got jealous for my fans. I'm like, well, well you like Andy now? Well, we can have mutuals. They I love know. us. They love us all. Bills, shout out. I'm just gonna cut, get these shout outs real quick. Shout them out. But you could, you know, you could no. talk. I just won't be paying attention. Um, Beanie Boy Brando, my man Crumb. He Crumb, my man Crumbum is out in Florida right now with a hurricane, hoping to God he doesn't die. And the great War Guardino, many more people in there. Great people. Shout outs. Anyway, we are here now with my man Drew Dog. You got what's you, up? Oh, nothing. I took Hobbs. I know it's nice. It's my little. He's got. He needs some screen time, baby. Yeah. James got me a little Hobbs for my... Uh, oh, that's what a sweet man Calvin. that that is. I know. He warmed up the special check right October 6th. October 6th. Where can you download it? And here's the sweet thing. It what? would have been my dad's 99th birthday. That's why we chose October 6th. But what happened? Did Coolio kill him? He died. He, he died <laughs> Astoria today. <laughs> oh. Stabbed to death. Something's going on in Astoria right now. You gotta, You can't just say that. People don't know what we're talking about. Well, I walked in and I go, hey, this helicopter's been up there for three hours and classic Greg Stone yarn. You go, yeah, there's a guy taken hostage and uh, this guy was killed. Now, if you know Greg, and I'm sure the FNG crowd does mm-hmm. by this point, that's a classic Greg make em up right there. Well, I like to lie, brother. You love to lie. I like to lie big. So I immediately went, yeah, this guy's pulling my leg. Yeah. And uh, you were being factual for once. Yeah, there was a murder that happened. Or so, what are you touching, Max? I'm just, I'm just closer. All right. Don't, don't yeah. touch in things in the middle of the goddamn podcast, <laughs> he Max. He wants to play with the kitty keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> also, I didn't tell you this as I thought was funny. When Andy <laughs> walks in serious as hell, I go, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, we're here. Producer's upstairs. And he goes, oh, what producer? And I went, Max. And he went, serious as hell. He went, Maximilian? <laughs> like... <laughs> 
<laughs> like, like every single Max I've ever met in my life is also Maximilian. And you went, mm, Maximilian? And I'm like, no, like maybe, sure. I'm sure a million people have called him Max. Do you go by Maximilian? No, never. <laughs> there you go. So not Maximilian. I said Maximum. Oh, who, after that. Who's Maximilian? Is it, that a proper name for Max? I, some Maxes are that. But yeah, you also went, that's the only Maximilian ever. I go, what about Maxwell? Oh, wait a minute. Are you telling me that Maximilian is an actual name? I think some people are called Max. Absolutely. Millen. Oh, I thought that was just a nickname you give every name Max. <laughs> no, Maximillionaire. That'd be a fun one, but this is going to be weird to say. I feel like you're being too loud in my child's sleep. Okay. I know that we are currently recording a podcast and I shouldn't have that happening right now. <laughs> and I thought it would be fine, but the louder you speak, the more scared I get. Is this a deal with it episode? It is. Deal with it. My baby's <laughs> going to go to sleep. We have to do it. It's deal with it. <laughs> okay. not, I'm not high. It's deal with it. You got to talk real quiet or you're going to wake up my kid. <laughs> All right, I'll try and talk. <laughs> Just put the mic real close to your mouth. It's close to my mouth. How much closer do you want it to get? Well, gotta, first of all, I gotta set my timer. Do you have a COVID test over there? What's that stick? I feel a little sick, right? No, I'm just asking. Oh no, that's weed. I just, uh, if I start to get a little tired, I'm you gonna get high. Okay, because there's a lot of random things in your home. There's what are you some, about? a couple heads right here. Yeah, who, I'm gonna put them on camera. This is what happens what when you walk this? into Greg's house. That's who. Take a guess who this is, man. You don't know who this is. I didn't get a real good look at him. This seems to be a. Hispanic fella? Oh, wrong. I think Filipino. That's uh, is Ned from Spider Man, and that's told me that's uh, other Spider Man. Oh, this is um, uh, Miles Morales. No, and Peter Parker. This is Peter Parker. Yeah, but that's Ned. Peter Parker's Batman. That's Ned from the Ned movie Flanders. <laughs> Ned from the movie Spider Man. You know I don't know these Fat things. Ned. Fat. I, I think you. This has always been a riff. In our relationship. A riff? A rift. A rift, yeah, that you like hockey. <laughs> well, I do love hockey, but mm -hmm. you love comic books and Spider-Man movies, and I like to, um, I guess, ch wrangle you about it. Well, you love movies that are like, you love movies too much in that weird way that's like, I like, like, I like Seinfeld, but right. then you come over and you go, the berries are cold, Danny. And I'm like, I don't know what the fuck you're saying. You're like, you don't know that? That's a great episode, by the way. <laughs> I love the berries are cold, Danny episode. <laughs> you do that. I'm like, oh, I, I, I don't know it that well. And I'm like, I love, I remember I met you. I went, I love hockey. And you're like, yeah, what about uh, uh, Scott Morales, 1976? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know that well. I like to see the puck fly around. <laughs> I love, we can make up Greg's hockey names all night long. <laughs> Scott Morales in 1976. <laughs> I swear to God, had 83 goals for the. I thought I liked The Simpsons till I met you. I thought I did. I was like, I love The Simpsons. <laughs> and you're like, really? Season three, episode nine, minute four, when he goes, "Give it back!" Isn't that great? And I'm Give like, what? Back. <laughs> Who said that, Homer? Yeah, I don't know. This is what you do to me. You have like such a great knowledge specific of these things. That's why. That then I feel I feel ousted on my love for those things <laughs> that you love. I get passionate about things I love to an almost autistic level. I, yeah, of I'm in knowledge. I just want to see how long this has been going on because it's really hard to talk to you. Two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just want to make sure it doesn't. Yeah, you're passionate about movies and stuff. Yeah, but I like real cinema, not you know Marvel. What's real cinema to you? The Godfather. Uh, That's a net movie. Network. Um, the Network? Jaws. The Facebook movie? No, just called Network. Max, have you ever seen Network? No. Well, you know, that's probably why you two are in cahoots. This man knows how to work a camera. That man's a film man. He knows how to make film. That's why I'm a little surprised. Patty Chayefsky wrote the script. Directed are you by about Sidney this? Lumet. Are you talking about the Facebook movie? <laughs> no, that's the social network. By David Fincher? That's ah. the social network. Ah. I'm very proud of you for that. That's a good one. I didn't care for it either. Well, see, we found each yeah. other. But I love movies. Do, let's do a movie quiz. Okay. I'll go, you want me to start? You start. In uh, what movie won Best Picture in 2000? To who? To the me? Oscars. The, it's the, to me? It's the overall award system. Well, I would go with the Batman from 1989. <laughs> in 2000? Yeah, that's my favorite movie in 1989. I don't think it was up I mean, for a nomination 2000. in 2000. You said what was the best picture in 2000? Right. To me. Oh, oh, that were personal. Personal. Do personal awards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So even though the uh, Academy um, acknowledged Gladiator in the year 2000, Greg Stone's. I did not. Batman, 1989, Tim Burton. But Tim Burton's 1989 Batman was my favorite movie in the year 2000. 
<laughs> because it's been so long since I'd seen it. All right. And now, I watched it again. Now that I know the system, right. uh, best picture last year, 2021. 2021. Best picture winner. Oh, it's been Avengers Endgame since like 2018. <laughs> okay. Greg Stone's favorite. Right. That was since when? I think 2018. When did it come out? <laughs> so you're telling me it's won consecutively okay. for the past. It swept the awards <laughs> for the past four years. <laughs> Every year. First time in history. <laughs> yeah, that because I love it still. Won multiple <laughs> years in a row. <laughs> yeah, these are the Greg Best Picture Awards. It's a landmark in cinema. <laughs> yeah, because this is what I hate about these award systems. They're always like for this year. And, and then they're like, they give people the best movie when it like, because oh, it's like, oh, we didn't give Larry, you know, Larry Holmes the the best picture in 1960 when we should have so he he made a new shit movie we'll give him the award this year that's bullshit the boxer Larry Holmes <laughs> I, think I, I think I might have COVID <laughs> I I like this whole system so you say forget the rules of uh, when a movie comes out in a certain calendar year I'm saying yes it's what the best movie this year is I liked it you know we could but you could do old movies. Yeah, yeah. Like, you should have a make up category. That's great. Why don't they do a make up category? An improvisational movie that night of the award show? No, I'm saying at the award show, they go, we fucked up. We should have given... <laughs> oh. We should have given E.T. Oh, I thought you meant make them up. Like, let's make it up right now. Well, that's a way better idea. No, no, no. I, I like this. Hey, we got it wrong. We got it wrong. We're not like taking that. away the award we gave to the other person, but... I could do an hour and a half on things they got wrong in Give the actual they got academy. Wrong. Uh, the Departed. That was good or was bad? Bad. I loved it. Well. He put the things on his shoes so that he couldn't get his DNA in the room. That's great. It was a make him up for, getting, for not giving Scorsese right. uh, Goodfellas best what picture. What did it beat? What did Departed beat? Uh, Avengers Endgame, I think. No. For you. Yeah, one game. Endgame has been winning every year. <laughs> I do my own award system too in the house. I give an award to All it. All right. Um, but what did the departed beat? Do you remember? I don't remember Max, that particular your computer? Year. You didn't bring your computer? No, my phone's charging over there. Oh, this is a horrible oh, what producer. Kind of an excuse was that? I'm taking a discount on your pay today. I like Max's answering system. You go, did you bring your computer? He goes, no, my phone's charging. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how one has to do with the other. <laughs> he knows that he, he fights crazy. You know what crazy. It, it deflected. Now we're not thinking about the computer <laughs> anymore. Exactly. Or the departed. <laughs> and my body. Right. So, okay, so they fucked up The Departed. Yeah. What movie should have won an award that didn't? Oh, great question. I would say the original uh, Transformers movie with Marlon Brando. What? It's the first movie I remember seeing in the theater. Do you remember yours? You're talking about the cartoon Transformers movie? Cartoon Transformers, like 19. You think that should have won a best award? You don't have to play to me. I am not. I'm talking about the cartoon Transformers movie. For nostalgia reasons, it should have won some sort of award. I think you're fucking making fun of me right now. I, I, don't, I don't appreciate it. It's the first movie I remember. So. You got the touch. Yeah. That song is in there. Um, no, but what's That's a real... Boogie Nights, I think. He sang that in there, and I think that was a shout-out to the Transformers the cartoon <laughs> movie. That's really? What, mm, that song was in that movie, but it was it was famous for the Transformers movie. You got the power. That one? Mm-hmm. Oh. When all hell's breaking loose, we'll be right in the eye of the storm. Okay, but let me ask you. <laughs> yeah. You don't... I feel like you know this. What was a movie that should have got <sighs> a snubbed movie? What was a number one snub? Goodfellas is my number one snub. It lost to Dances with Wolves. Yeah, but Dances with Wolves is a great movie. No, there's not a lot of dancing, first of all. There's a lot of wolves. There's a lot of wolves. I give him that. And what does your what is your take on dancing? Sometimes it's a party. I think the guy who was doing the titles, the guy who wrote the movie had sloppy handwriting. Oh, I think he's oh, and it was, it was he was called like hunting the wolves. <laughs> no, his name was Dances, but what was in the movie? I never saw it to be honest. See, and that's why you are not allowed on this podcast. Why? Because you don't even see things that you're supposed to see. I feel like I have been banned from from the pod. And you're doing me a personal favor because my special is coming out. Why would you have been banned? Shadow banned. Like, face, oh, yeah. like. I'll tell you this. Can we be real? And then we're yeah. going to get back to movies. Okay. Let's get real. Uh, I sometimes, some of my very closest friends who are comedians, I don't, like Ariel Elias. Yeah. Never really have her on the podcast. Yeah. Shaggy, I'll never have again. But that's like a real band. You don't have to explain that yeah, one. Yeah, we get it. <laughs> uh, he's a real piece of shit. Yeah. Um, 
Can I point you? out one what? thing? Oh, so, oh okay. Because so far you've only named Jews. Oh, I didn't even notice. That could be what it <laughs> so is. So that might have been a theme you want to work on. I don't think it is, but I can't rule it out. <laughs> Do Max, you're Jewish, right? Yeah. Do Jewish people have like certain traits that might annoy me? <laughs> Probably, yeah. What? Uh, like, like what? Like they interrupt you? I know I do that, but I'm working on it. Yeah, you're being real good today. Thanks. I've been trying because I really appreciate it. I, I've been told that I do that. It's such a hard thing when you are around comedians all the time. Everybody's trying to get their word or their joke out. So you become like the youngest part of a family where it's like if you don't uh, grab a hold of your time when you have it, right? you won't get anything in. But I'll listen to you. Thanks. No, here's the thing with us, right? Because I think that's true. But that's not with us. That shouldn't be with us. And here's yeah, why yeah, that yeah. shouldn't be with us. Because I care about what you're saying. So, like, if you want to tell me something, I'll listen. But I'll say this. I have ADHD. I might try to throw in, but I'll I'll always try to get you back on the highway. Yeah. Um. See, that my phone went off, and we both got super distracted. I know. I think I got I a little that. contact ADHD from you. I do. I do. I do give it off. Well, I'm, the thing is, I'm trying to get my eye on the time, but I... I it's too distracting. Max, can you keep an eye on the time for the love of fucking God? I what does this guy. guy do? He's the best. He just sits there. Yeah, I love him. I give him $200 a day. Really? Every day, though. <laughs> That's a lot of money. 1400 a week? <laughs> yeah. And he only comes over for an hour to do the podcast. <laughs> His rates are out of control. Yeah, he's just uh, I'm doing stuff Is that a Jewish home? trait? $200 a week, a day? A trait? Yeah, I don't know if that's a trait. Because <laughs> I don't know about racism. That's a, that's a rate. That's a rate. Right. <laughs> right. You put the T in front of the R. I will listen to you better. I did interrupt too, and I get a. I I apologize. I think we just do it to each other because sometimes we're just excited to get all the stuff we have to tell each other. Out. You, could go, you could go, Greg. L- let me just say this real quick, and I'll say okay, or I'll say give me, give me a second. Let yeah. me finish this, and then I'll get back. Yeah. Or just do this. What I do is when I'm talking to you, like I'll put my finger up so I remember something. <laughs> right. Like, tell me a story. Um. Okay. So I was coming home from work the other day on the sub. <laughs> See, no, keep like, telling me the story. I'm I listen. Know, but it looks like you go. I don't want to hear anymore. <laughs> no, this is how I'll concentrate on your story. So, so tell me, about, tell me your story. I, I got off the, <laughs> and then I, I'll wait. I'll hear Why your story. Are you making that face because I don't want to forget what I'm going to say. <laughs> it looks evil. <laughs> I just hold, it's like I'm holding it a shit. Um, oh man, this is a very important text. Hang on. What is more important than talking? It's your dad. To your fr- <laughs> from, holy shit, he's back. That's sad. That's sad. Is is if is, is you? I know your dad was very old. Yeah, he so was ninety six. When how old was he when you had your you? Fifty five. Wow. Yeah. I'm, he's not much older than I'm forty, and I had my kid. Yeah, but so, that's normal now. Is it? Yeah, because you, I, here's the math I like to do. Like when Calvin's fifteen, you'll be fifty five. That's pretty normal. Like that's still pretty young. Like when my dad, when I was fifteen, he was seventy. Wow, wow, that's and that, wild. You see the difference? That's a big difference. Yeah. Those years come quick at the end. Let's do one more. All when right. Calvin's 20, you're 60. When mm. I was 20, my dad was 75 years old. <laughs> <laughs> and I got to college and people were like, that's your old man? And I'm like, that, literally. Took, yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But here's the thing, though. But thank God your dad lived to a very old age. Uh, he was in great shape. So, like, he may have been, but also, like, he lasted for a long time. I got 40... Almost 41 years, yeah. Because my mom is getting old now, and I don't know what's going on. That'd right. Be really, you know, that can be, can be sad. But, like, she ain't near, She ain't fucking pushing fury years. I know. And the thing about it is that my dad lived a very simple life. Like, he ate decently, uh-huh. got a decent amount of exercise, and worked, enjoyed his work, and worked for a really long time. Right. It's like, oh, that's not that hard to do. But it is for some reason. <laughs> you know? Excuse me. Yeah. Calvin coughed right in my fucking mouth yesterday. Was this the first time? What? Or was, has this been the first time he just like gave you a direct hit? Right in my mouth. Hakalugi? Not even kidding. And I was like, oh my God. And then he, Tita goes, I go, oh. Then Tita goes, let me hold him. She holds him. And he goes, Tah! I got her too. <laughs> and we both woke up like sniffling. And I'm like, what the fuck? Maybe he's learning. I think he's learning. He's taking out his parents. <laughs> all We're all in this together. Oh shit. Should I, I didn't even think. Well, he's not, he doesn't have COVID because he he's not around people. Babies don't get COVID. They don't. Pandemic's over. Yeah, I don't I'm know good. if Max told you. Are you vaxxed? Yeah. 
You should show me your card. <laughs> I should tell you. I should make you show me my card every time. Yeah. Max, so you up to lazy? You go. I'm maxed and vaxed, baby. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. So back to the snubs. I want to get back to these movies. Oscar snubs or personal oh, snubs? I got questions in the Discord that I want. To, oh, this. Oh yeah, Discord. What's up to all my homies in the Discord? First of all, they have questions, but I do want to ask this. Uh, I do want to ask this first. Yeah. I want to tell you this first. The reason I don't have my friends on is that like. I already know so much about you that it's hard to be like sure to jam because it's like I don't, if you bring a super close friend on sometimes it's like oh we're starting from the middle and then people on the podcast they don't know oh yeah that's a good point like a lot of inside jokes too much inside and then I don't know what to talk to you about because we've talked about everything yeah. you already know everything that's happened in my life right I, I talk to you almost every day so I'm like ah oh, geez what the fuck am I gonna talk about it's a good point that makes me feel better no, no, but I also love to have you on. I also forget my closest friends. I do the, the same time, thing. I do the same thing. Which I don't understand why. Anthony, I Anthony, I try to have on a lot, but he always says no, <laughs> yeah. which is crazy. That's different, though. I mean, you know, he's your best friend from childhood. And, you know, like I, I this is the cool thing about how old we are mm -hmm. is normally we, I think, kind of take a stand against how much cell phones are a part of our lives now mm -hmm. but i now talk to my college friends and my friends from home every single day it's great via our group text chats whereas like before i would you wouldn't you i could pick them up call a fucking landline <laughs> yeah and go and talk to one of their parents that was the most terrifying thing in the entire oh. world when you go hi mr brown it's andy <laughs> is steve home may i please talk and you had to be polite yeah and man, how terrifying was it talking to a parent when they would pick up the phone. Dude, did you... I don't know if you did this, but every time the phone rang, and, hello, who's calling, please? Yep. I used to have a call thing. You have to say, hello, who's calling, please? Oh, yeah. And then they have to be like, this is Derek. I'm with the NASA, and we're looking <laughs> to recruit some smart little boys. Really? Yeah, that's how I went into... Uh, that's that's a, how I was molested. That I was going to say. Yeah. That sounds a little fishy. Yeah, no, it was weird. He said that. I said, hell yeah, I'm in. I, I didn't know NASA had a child recruitment program. <laughs> yeah. Dude, he goes, I was like, what do I do? And they said, come outside. And it was literally like, I walked right out. There was a van. Tires spun. Before they were off the block, the guy was sucking my dick. <laughs> well, that's because you're easy. I am very easy. You, you said, that's the thing about being molested. Like, I, is it molested if you didn't care? <laughs> no. That's just a good time. That's just a good time. That's just a date. So it was like NASA's recruitment. had, And the guy had a shirt on. It just said ASA, which I thought was funny. <laughs> It was it was Nassau Coliseum, <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. And you're calling your boys. You oh, and what about especially the, uh, a girl for the first time? Like, the heat that would take over your chest. Oh my lord, chest heat. I know. You go. Oh, what the fuck? Now I get nervous on a woman. I'm worried I'm having a heart attack. See, this is what's crazy because I've been my wife 14 years. Yeah, and I've been trying to say this as a joke, but Calvin is the first time. In 14 years, I've fallen in love. Really? Yeah, but like, yeah, because I'm with my wife. I love my wife. I, I get it. I don't get the I don't get the chest heat anymore. Right. Also, been doing stand up so long. I used to get chest heat from going on stage. You I don't, don't get, get that, that anymore. anymore. I don't get nervous for shows ever. But what about when you're in the pocket though, and you're riding that like wave of laughter? That's and then no, you that's get exciting, off. Exciting, and that's good. But that's not nervous. No, it's not nervous. But it's the oh okay maybe we're talking about two different things, the nervousness of like calling a potential date for the first time. Yeah. Okay, I hear you. Versus going. I on don't stage. know if I get nervous for anything anymore. Well, that's good. What could I be nervous for? I mean, you're oh. going on TV next week. So far, not nervous. Great. Oh, I didn't tell you about that. Yet. I should tell them. You can edit this out, except for Discord. We don't edit. Well, Max refuses to edit, even though I pay him two hundred dollars a day is fucking, every day. He's maximizing on your kindness, I think. Yeah, he's doing minimum work for a maximum salary. He also has. He also remember that black van I was talking about. Yeah, he's got the same van. But he's got my kid in it. It's a whole. Uh, this is. I don't like this. What? I don't like how Max is using you. It's all right. He, for he's money me. and child profiteering. <laughs> he bullies me. <laughs> he's bullying me. He punched me the other day. Did you, I'm still shy. Hey, can you look something up? My phone's charging. You know what's, cra you know what's crazy about him, too? Sorry. Is it because he's much smaller than me? Yeah. He brings a little ladder, and he puts a ladder down. I go, what's the ladder for? And he gets on there, and he punches me in the face. <laughs> I went, what the hell, man? You know what? Now I like him again. 
<laughs> but like I see him setting up. He's done it like multiple times. I yeah. keep going. I keep forgetting. You keep like, falling for the ladder trick every time. <laughs> he sets it up. I go, what do you do with that ladder? Goes, Pop. I go, oh shit. <laughs> and he takes money out of my goes, pockets. You know what, Greg? I'm going to move your toys around <laughs> using this step stool. <laughs> nope. Kablooey. Dude, not even he, I wish he would say that. He puts the ladder and I go, what are you doing? And he goes, you know what I'm doing. I go, I really don't. And he goes, pop. And he punches me. And I go, oh, fuck. I hadn't. You know what? I'm with Max. It's the only way you'll learn. <laughs> and I just, he can't. And he takes the money out of my pockets. <laughs> now you're just throwing petty crimes into it. I don't know why he does it. He's a mean guy. You're paying him a decent rate. I know. Not a trade. Every day. Every day. $200. That's two hundo every day, bro. <laughs> the max rate. <laughs> That's a good living wage. $200 a day? $1,400 a week? That's a nice To salary. do nothing. Let's do that quick math. So that's what, $2,800 for two weeks? Yeah. Uh, times four, what's that, 56? Oh, I got some questions for you. Okay. But the math was fun. I think it was correct, too, which surprised me. I just don't want to think about how much money he's taking you're, from you're, me. Max is taking money out of Calvin's mouth. For... <laughs> uh, for uh, first question is, uh, oh, this is one. This is what I wanted to ask Julie. Ask here. Uh, let's get into hot button issues. Do have it. you ever? Have you ever? No, take a second and really think about this. Okay. Have you ever raped anyone? I'm thinking. I'm listening. Oh, Max is laughing because he's making. He's, uh, he wants a rushed answer. Because Max loves violence. Why don't you play with your stool? He chose violence. Have you ever uh, raped anyone? Well, I'm thinking about the question. Think about it. I want to say no. Want to say no. I'm going to have to go fact check that. I, you're going to have to Fiori fact check that. Willis wrote, will you, will you rape me? Willis? So if you haven't, you can rape Willis. It's a nice offer. He's in the Discord. It is a nice offer. Would you get in the Discord? I'll send you a link. You get in, you talk to these people. They'll, they'll become your fans too. Second question. I know he's a movie guy. Maybe formative movies from your childhood. Oh, yeah. Great Let's question. Get Max, by Max, number... Oh, this is by. Uh, we like sorry. to curse McGurs. Oh, oh no, curse my man. Yeah, curse is the man. And then they uh, let me let me ask Max first. Even though you're not on camera, yeah. you can't see him. He's not on camera, but he's literally just giving me the finger. He's giving me the finger for <laughs> I an know. hour. He's been Max. Childhood movie was the most formative childhood movie. Don't be too stressed about the answer. Uh, a lot of Mel Brooks movies. If you say Mel Brooks, I'm gonna fucking punch you. <laughs> really? Did he say Mel Brooks? He did. Yeah. Oh my I god. Mel Brooks. Don't, dude. He'll get. He got. He got has got a few more what rings. Else? What's the What's the Mel Brooks movie? I uh, like Blazing Saddles. If you say Blazing Saddles, <laughs> I'm gonna come over there and oh, break your. Oh, I see what you're doing. Yeah, it was a fun game. <laughs> yeah, it was a good one. Blazing no. Saddles was great. Yeah, does That's a great one. It. I know that people say, you can't make that today. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> as much as I believe in artistic freedom and creativity, right. don't know if that one's getting made. But is it a regrettable movie? No, because, uh, you know, they they were all doing it, obviously, tongue-in-cheek and satirizing right. racism. You know, they had Richard Pryor as one of the writers. They had Cleavon Little as Sheriff Bart. You know, it's... it's. Uh, I'll wait for the subway, or no. That's my life. Okay. Every day the train comes by, yeah. every 20 minutes, and everyone has to be quiet for three seconds. Uh, I can, well, Max, great answer. Mel Brooks, for formative. But still, let's get into this thing, right? Go ahead, Max. What are you gonna I was going to say, just the Mel Brooks... Oh. The History of the World's Part 1, I think, does not hold up as well as Blazing Saddles. Going to have to agree with you on that one. I watched it recently and uh, I don't remember found myself not as entertained as when I was 12. I want to get back to Blazing Saddles. Okay. Because Blazing Saddles was, like you said, sat satire. Yeah. So funny. Uh, they're shitting on everybody. Not that that's like a thing, but like they're clearly making fun of racists in the movie. Yeah. So it doesn't, it's not regrettable. We shouldn't look, down, but you still can't do it today. That's where I find a weird, why it's, that's weird. But I think the reason you can't do it today is because people just, people don't take things in their context. People just hear the buzzwords right. and go, no, wrong, you can't do it. Right. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's what, it's why we have trigger warnings now. Oh, I just came up with a great idea. Let's hear it. So here's the problem. Right, and this is not a goofy idea. This is a real idea. Okay. Okay. People don't do what you just said. Yeah. They. You said. What did you say? I was talking about the context of the film. People don't care about context. Right. They just hear like the N word, and they go, "Can't do it." So doesn't I doesn't matter the scenario. 
people do, but only the squeaky wheel gets dealt with, right? So I think it's the loud people that we have to deal with now, which I also believe the minority. So we create a website called The People's Choice. Okay. Okay? And then it's all based on voting. So if someone goes, hey, we're going to do this Blades and Saddles movie again, right? Yeah. The people get out and they vote and they go, no, nah, man, we as America have decided we don't find this racist. And we, you, we should judge by who the majority of people are saying and not the minority. Or is that a problem? Because then minorities all get fucked over. Oh, well, I still think you are allowing people to have the say in what you make, which is not freedom of speech. No, no, what I'm saying is that, like, everything, right? Just to get a vibe, like, are we really mad about this, right? So, like, the Little Mermaid, she was black, people went crazy. Yeah. So I go, you go to the People's Choice website. How many people are actually mad about this? Right. And the real numbers are going to be, like, 40. And then you go, yeah, 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 so this can't be in the news, okay? 40 (laughs) people gave a shit. Right. Because who really gave a shit about Little Mermaid being black? Yeah, yeah, oh, Max Maxie is, over there. He definitely did. He's like sweating right now. Look at him, tensing he, up. He, shoulders, his teeth are grinding to nothing. Just bringing it up. I can't tell. I didn't want. I didn't know I was going to be in a room with this racist. He's so angry. He's just. You know, he just wrote. You see what he wrote on the wall? I hate black people. I know. I thought that's that on was, my wall now. You just wrote that on my wall. I came in and I went. This is not what you should be teaching your child. Oh, he crossed out people and wrote mermaids. <laughs> right. I guess it, that's it more a weird. of a stance, but I, it's still weird. First of all, not the public forum that you think it is, Max. That's just Three my wall. People my, it. That's just the wall in my and living the room. The kid can't even read yet. So it's a weird place for your propaganda. Also, you're supposed to be recording my podcast. I'm writing on my wall. I know. It's not, he's really taking uh, your dime here and turning oh, it into his. Tell everybody I'm going to be on Corden next. Uh, Congratulations. I'm so happy for you, buddy. I'm so proud. You're going to kill it. You're going to be great. They could still bump me. I'll, I'll, I'll get around watching it one day. The fourth or fifth. The fifth. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, yeah, but you can't think like that. I mean, it's a thing that happens. I doubt it will. Right. It's not like it's uh, Carson in the 70s where, did you know, uh, Burt Reynolds <laughs> went over for 20 minutes and they had to cancel you. I think... Dude, this is, I've been through this before. I've been bumped before. I think within a week, uh, they're not going to go, hey, we can't have you on. I think what you're talking about is like bumped when you're there and you're backstage and they go... We're running short on time. We're going to have to have you back. Like that used to happen a lot more, I think. Well, now that, things are so rigidly timed out. Well, when I first got when I first got late night, it was uh Monday mo- it was uh, we were recording uh Monday. It was uh September 11, 2001. Right. And then they decided we're not going to do stand up today because of the tragedy. Why? Oh, right. The tragedy is September 11th. Then I got it again. And they were like, we can't have you. I was like, why? They were like, Columbine. Gotcha. And I got it again. I think it was, I think you're out of order there. Yeah. I do time, tra- I do time travel. Oh. Wait, wait, Columbine happened in the 90s? You should be the, you should be doing panel then. <laughs> you should be doing stand up. <laughs> oh, be- no, no. Columbine 2. They don't talk about that as much anymore. The sequel? <laughs> yeah. They, they happened again. <laughs> This is a racy podcast. Columbine here? <laughs> Columbined. <laughs> I'm trying not to like laugh too hard. This is a racy podcast. Column Tyrell. That's a comedian. A bind. I wonder if that's what his full name is. Columbine. I think something's fishy going on there. He's, he's Irish and that fucking Mick. I don't trust him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Column Tyrell's full name is Columbine Tyrell. <laughs> I think his for a full name is... Be. I love Columbine <laughs> right. Rotorel. Yeah. That's a weird um racy podcast today, huh? Um I was uh supposed to go on Letterman. Right. Ninety four. Um Oklahoma City bombing. Oh no. And for some weird reason, right. They were like, Well, we just don't have a lot of fourteen year olds on the show. Right. And I was like, But so you're bumping me. Right. Well they so were said weird. well, I think with I remember you telling me the story. What they actually said was, we can't have two bombs in one day. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Max seems to be looking at the wires as He's if something bad, off again. something bad is happening. I don't think any of this is recording. What color? Okay, they got another question from the, from, the, from the Discord. How frequently you burn your clothes and start a new wardrobe? <laughs> this is a good question. How many I'll, years it I'll took to learn? I'll answer for you. Never. Huh? I'll answer for you. Not, 
Not once. <laughs> That's fair enough. I'm unoriginal, but I tell him your cat story if he hasn't heard it yet. I think it's been several years since you told it. Ooh, I can't. Tell I'm that. not remembering the cat story. I can't do the cat story to you because I'm too close to you. But I'll tell the story of the cat story. Okay. The cat story is a move I do on podcasts. If I'm and I did it multiple times. If I'm having a bad time on the podcast, I will cut everyone off and go. Oh man, I got to tell the story about my cats. And the story about my cats is about how my stepfather, how we found a cat, and it was pregnant, and we hid it from my stepfather. Yeah. And then it had a litter of kittens. And it's a very long story. And then my stepfather finds the litter of kittens, and then says, "It's not. It's inappropriate that we had them, and because they're just going to die." <laughs> So I had to euthanize him. And I tell a 12-minute story about how I had to murder cats <laughs> in the basement. None of it's true. But if you want to see people on a podcast go, what the fuck is going on right now? I It's what I call you burn the thing to the ground. And this is why when I walked in, you go, yeah, there's a guy held hostage. He's dead now. I go, yeah, you can't trust this guy. This isn't, could be another cat story. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I did Ryan Browth. Well, I don't mind saying now because fuck that guy. Uh I did. He had me on his podcast, and he kept cutting me off. So I was sitting far enough away from him that I just held the microphone like this, and then just went. So there's forty cats, and I had to twist he all was their talking heads the off. The entire time he's talking over me, but underneath, I am telling a story about how I'm murdering cats, and I, went, and I had to rip their heads off, and I didn't want to, and I'm sad, and he doesn't even know I'm talking. I've but never I'm just... seen Max happier than when you're talking about murdering cats. Max Is that... loves. Violence. He, I really am getting a bad vibe from this fella. Yeah, I mean, he's doubled over with cat <laughs> murder on the brain. Max is a good laugher, and you can just say whatever, and he loves it. Look, yeah, especially look. if it has something to do with killing cats. <laughs> I've just been saying that Max is a loves Max. We just had a bunch of things about Max, and he's just sitting there giggling, <laughs> and nothing is a worse for him because it all it does is feed me. You know, he's laughing because he's thinking about all the money he's making. <laughs> Two hundred a day. Yeah. Um, I think also these questions in the curse Discord. McGurse though my formative we got Max's formative movies oh, our formative right movies. yes what are your formative childhood movies uh the F Jaws still up oh, there yeah, that's one of your favorite movies. but The Shining I saw at a way too young age you came from the same part of the neck of the woods where I come from North mm -hmm. Jersey yeah Channel Eleven WPIX Saturday afternoon movie do you remember they would show. Inappropriate films. It, <laughs> yeah. Yep. At two in the afternoon, mm -hmm. and I know I shouldn't be watching The Shining at like nine years old, but I'm not turning the channel because I feel like I'm getting away with something. And they, ed but they would edit a lot of like the violence and scary stuff out. But, but I knew <laughs> it was something was so wrong and creepy. I knew I was terrified. Me. Yeah. So that was a formative one, and then, uh, f but in terms of like comedy, what were some of you? I, Comedy formative stuff for me was Simpsons. Uh, In Living Color was big for me. There's not movies, but like that was comedy. The State. I used to love The State. The State, state I loved. And uh, what else? SNL, too. I loved SNL. SNL used to be really good. Yeah, so great. Well, I'm always of the opinion that you're, you love SNL when you're a teenager, and that's always going to be your favorite cast when you were like 13, 14, 15. But I don't know if that's true now. Well, I don't know because you're too you're too old. But I don't know if there's teenagers who are like <laughs> watching it. Yeah, I mean that are Max, like. Max, are you watching it? <laughs> no. How old are you? Twenty eight. He says that <laughs> he's you're really throwing me old. for a loop here. <laughs> I would have gone either twelve or yeah, elderly <laughs> Jew. <laughs> yeah. You, 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 you don't know which way to go with this fella. <laughs> Max is a man shapeshifter. When he was born, he looked an age, and he just gonna look that age old forever. Fucking maximum button here. Yeah. <laughs> He looked 35, and then but then when he's 50, he's still going to look 35. He looks great. Yeah, actually, he looks pretty young. He's a sweet kid. He is. I really like him, and I, didn't, I felt like the last thing I I'm said turning was, around was a on him. too mean. No, he's the best. You can't, don't turn your back on him, but my my opinion of him is And don't around. let that guy get a ladder around you. Yeah, for damn gonna, sure. He's going to get on that thing. There's only three rings. It's only three rungs. they punch you right in the face. He'll fucking hit you right in the schnazool. <laughs> Take money right out of your pocket. Uh, E.T. was huge for me. Yeah, yeah. Did E.T. scare you when you were first watching Only it? when he's all white in that river. <laughs> Fuck me up, man. Yeah. Fuck me up. I don't mean to... Big, Big J one time described a girl he was sleeping with pussy. <laughs> because it was the color of, you know, when E.T. is dying at the river? 
<laughs> and we all know what that looks like. <laughs> it's the funniest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> That's heavy. That's heavy duty. That's a bad pussy. Yeah. What's the weirdest? What's the... Mm, I don't want to get dirty. Oh, come on. Everybody wants it. Who's the weirdest person you ever had sex with? The weirdest was uh, I used to bartend in the East Village, St. Mark's Ale House. On St. Mark's, you know, weird place, a lot of characters. I might not have ever told you this because it's one I play pretty close to the chest. Uh, I've told Max this before, but um, I used to have this, uh, this girl, Parada was her name. And she used to come in. Every night I was Parada working. sounds like an Italian cheese. <laughs> yeah, you have a little Parada with yeah. a little, uh, you know. Give me some and a little Parada. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. A little Capicola and some <laughs> Parada. <laughs> yeah. She would sit there. She would always wear her Yankees baseball cap very low. And mm-hmm. she would always just kind of go, hey, Andy, how are you? And I always parada. think she would flirt with me, right? Yeah. She lived in an SRO on St. Mark's. Like a the single single room occupancy. Like a mutual bathroom. You know, like one oh. bathroom per floor. Super cheap, super small. So we um, eventually go to uh, her room one night down the street. We both were like, I closed the bar. Hot, Hot and like cute enough. All right. Um, takes her shirt off. I am talking no breasts whatsoever. Like no nipples? Like nipples. But I mean, flat as a board. Oh, that'll oh, happen. Settle down over there, Max. <laughs> well, he likes a flat. He's getting there. excited. Uh, yeah, of course we all are. It's a hot story, but uh, still. Yeah. So I have a hard out at uh, eight thirty, <laughs> but I have a hard on right now. You... <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. So, either way, we hook up. Mm-hmm. Nothing happens. She maybe, you know, gives me a little tug. Sure. And uh, I leave. I don't end up doing anything. I tell my waitress. Anna, the next day, she goes, I don't know how to say this to you, but I'm pretty sure she was, that she's a transvestite. Is that the right word anymore? I don't think so, but this is 2007 when oh, this okay. happened, so it was applicable. Um, transgendered, I guess. Okay. It doesn't know. matter. I mean, it whatever. doesn't matter, but you asked me the weirdest time. So you had sex with I, a girl who may have been trans. I didn't, I didn't, we didn't have sex. Hand job? Here's the best part about this. Yeah, a little hand job. That's great. Not even to completion, you know? And that'll happen. And I was so mystified by it. But then all the cl- once she told me that, like, all the clues, you go, no breasts, deep voice, Yankees mm-hmm. hat. I go, yeah, I just got snooker. I got rooked. What does that mean, rooked? It's fooled. We didn't get fooled. I don't, I didn't, it didn't bother me. Right. Here's the great part about this. A year goes by. She, like, kind of stopped coming to the bar. I don't know what happened. Whatever. I'm with my friend Chris. We're at pianos mm-hmm. on the Lower East Side. Mm-hmm. I see Parada. Mm-hmm. Chris goes. He goes. Parada, what's up? I tell. I talk to him. I go. You know her. He goes. Yeah, I hooked up with her one time. I go. Boy, do I have news for you. <laughs> but you have a penis? I don't know. I never got there. I mean, this is my thing, and I, and I'm not trying to be Mister Whatever, but uh, I guess this is definitely offensive. What I'm about to say. Uh, I don't mind knockoff shoes. <laughs> You know what I mean? I, it's a I, little offensive. Well, it's a thing. It's like it might not be down. You know, look, you can't tell. If I can't tell, I don't care. And if I, I can tell, if you tell me, I and see I go, where you're going. The way I, and this is going to sound, may also be offensive, but let me come to this in a nice way. If you are trans, you are not trans to me. You are either attractive or... Or you are not. I don't care that it happened. I was just saying. No, I know. But you, I could tell by the way you're squirming in your seat that you feel like <laughs> you're now homosexual and you're less of a man. And it's okay. Look, you're not. Okay? A man is adventurous. Thank you. It's. I think it, I, it was my frontiersmanship. Yeah. I don't mind. I thought it was funny that me and my friend just both randomly hooked up with this person we thought was a actual female right. i don't care that she well, wasn't so you don't show that she, she wasn't i do think maybe she misrepresented herself but i don't but why care should, doesn't matter i don't matter i don't mind i'll kiss you right that's what i'm saying and that's a thing it's like do you have to this gets into like a very deep weird not deep as it gets a very like touchy subject but this idea of like all right you take your pain like the idea that 
I don't mind if I hooked up with someone and then I found out later they had a penis. Yeah. It doesn't mean anything to me. It's like, what if I found out later she had a weird ass tattoo that said, I am a Nazi. I would go, you didn't represent yourself right. as a non-Nazi. <laughs> you know, but I go, but the hand job is still good. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I wanted you to be a non right. right. But you were a upsy. A. <laughs> so, I, yeah, I guess. But it's like, because I think that all comes down to being like fear of gay. Well, you just asked me about my weirdest one, and that was just like the weirdest one that jumped out to me. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. But I feel like what I'm saying feels like it's aimed at you. And it's not. It's more aimed at this other guy I got no. in a fight with online the other day. Oh, really? Yeah. I because like I the do, knockoff I, I, shoe I, analogy, metaphor. Um, can I tell you this? I don't right. want to... I, tra- I have a trans joke on... on. I have a trans bit... You're doing on, on Corden. TikTok. Hang no. on. My ride's here. Hilarious. Every time. I have a trans bit I have on TikTok that got no big deal, 250,000 views. Not super viral, but... Kind of. Anyway, so pro? most of my days, what? Pro trans? Yeah. But most of my day. <laughs> it is anti trans and it, it is skyrocketing up the charts. <laughs> well, the joke, I'll tell you the joke. The joke is, which I look, I could find some loopholes in it or whatever, but I like the joke. The joke is, uh, um, I was like, oh, if you had sex with a girl and you found out she was a guy, and the guy was like, nah, man, I, you know, I would never, I freak out. I ain't gay. And I'm like, well, that doesn't make you gay. That was a woman who one time was a man. Right. I'm a man who one time was a boy. If you looked yeah. up with me, you wouldn't be a pedophile. And people go, all I do is spend all day fighting comments on people being like, nah, man. But it comes down to me, I'm like, look, man, if I got to look into your DNA to see what you were, yeah, I don't give a fuck. Can I offer up this piece of advice? Sure. You start having Max start re- re- answering those people. You got better things yeah. to do. You're a father. Two hundred dollars a day. I mean, this guy's got to start yeah. pulling his weight around here. But I just wanted to let you know on why where that was coming from. Yeah, that was me coming from consistently having to deal with like this trans like people. Like, there's so many people who are just afraid afraid of being gay, and I'm like, yeah, it's not a stigma. It's who gives a shit. You're not. There is no such thing as gay. I was there's excited. coming and not coming. I was excited when it happened. Yeah, I would. I mean. I, uh, how about this? Right, Where, what's the Where's the weirdest place you've ever had a hookup, location wise? Oh, I've done a bunch. But I well, let's to do get one. into it, Papa. Well, I wanted to tell you this one. Okay, this is one of the weirdest ones. And I'm sorry if I shared this on the podcast before. Uh, I stayed over with this girl. I was uh, we I was working with this girl at Fortune Offs. I used to work at Fortune Offs. It's hot. Show end the shift. We're hanging in the car three hours. Because I used to talk to girls for like nine hours before anything would happen. Sure. Because I really had, I really like, I'm playing with, I'm playing with humor here, and I'm a little bit of a coward. So I like, it takes me a long time to make a yeah, move. Yeah, yeah. And Same I would thing. have to make sure they like me so much. <laughs> yeah. Nine hours in the car before I make a move. <laughs> so we're in the car, not even getting the sun is starting to come up from the end of the shift at nine o'clock. You got to go back to work, dude. Sun's starting to come up. She goes, "Oh, I don't want to go home." She goes, "I want to go back to my, let's go to Penn State because that's where she was." Her college, she had like a college dorm there, but she was staying with her parents or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to go to my parents. Let's go to my thing. I go, okay. So we drive to Penn State from North Jersey. That's like two or three hours. What campus? I don't know. The main? Main campus? Time. Hap- yeah. Time is unforgivable. Okay. So I have no idea. We get in bed. We start making out. No sex. Dry humping. Making out. Maybe she touched my wiener. Maybe I touched her uh, little white ET. I don't know. Her name was Parada. I'm going to lose my goddamn <laughs> I don't know. We fall asleep. I wake up. She is staring at me. And I'm like, what's up? And she's like, you got to go. And I was like, what the fuck happened here? She's like, you got to go. We have to leave right now. We get in the car. She's in the car with me. Does not talk to me the whole way home. No idea what happened. (laughs) Part of me is like, did I do something in my sleep? What the fuck happened here? Find out later. (laughs) The next girl I dated, she goes, oh, you snore so bad that you, like, if you come over, you have to sleep on the couch. Turns out I snored so bad with this girl in the room, she didn't get any sleep. She was furious, made me leave, and then wouldn't talk to me for the three-hour ride home. Don't you wake somebody up and go, hey, man, can you just turn, sleep on your side? Yeah. She couldn't do anything. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> she just she was kind of a bitch about it. stared at you, hoping that would do the trick. I woke up, and she was staring at me. She was mad. And I'm like, she was trying to... Telepathically make this <laughs> make your snoring go away. Um, but weirdest, I feel like that story didn't do enough, so I'll have to hit I you. Think you've another. actually told me that before. Maybe why I didn't give you enough. Yeah, it's possible. Also, wasn't that funny? 
And I'm like low. I'm low energy today. That's okay. Um, I was on a Christian trip. <laughs> Dude, I am the king of taking Christian girls' virginities. Now, I was going to say, can I? are they a little wilder than you would think? Because you would think that Christian trip, they might be religious, but maybe it's because they're forced to be there and they really want to go buck wild. Re- repressed. Ain't nothing better for sex than a little repression. <laughs> how, how, how many? How, what are we talking here, numbers-wise? Four. In one trip? No, no. Oh, no, no. Was Four next. Christian girls who were virgins. Had sex with me, and I wasn't going there hunting them. I was just for some reason would randomly end up with these girls. Well, now, what were some of your lines? Would you bring the Lord into it? No, no. I would always be like, "Yeah, man, I love that you do what you do, but it's really not for me." Oh, really? So, yeah, you weren't like, you know, you you kind of remind me of a lady I like to think of as Mary. (laughs) No, and it's just also weird as hell that I would just randomly run into these people. Just, and then we would make out, and they'd find out they're a Christian. And I'm like, ah, it's all good. I don't you know, do this. And then they'd be like, no, I want to do this. Did something happen, Max? Yeah, it looks like the camera just went off. So yeah, that'll happen. Oh my lord. Uh, we'll, we'll just we'll just keep recording we'll plow audio. Through. Well, yeah. And you could sync it, right? Yeah. I'll just keep talking. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Just don't do anything big, like big motions. Two hundred bucks a day. Do you want me to clap so you can sync it? Well, let me know when it goes on. Two hundred dollars a day. This fucking guy's got the camera turned. You want me to give myself a round of applause <laughs> so we know? Back on. Um, then we're back. So I'll tell you this one: the this camera is... got so bored with that story. <laughs> <laughs> High school. Yeah. That was, I hit the microphone so I can oh. find a spike. High school. Um, I don't even know how this even happened. We're on a ski trip. I'm in this like chair, driving back. It's like we're coming back like nine, ten o'clock at night. Poconos. Everyone's... Something Mountain Creek or something. Colorado. Shit. I don't even remember. Okay. I don't even remember. I don't and also this story kinda of doesn't even make sense to me anymore. It was so long ago. <laughs> All I know is this girl was like sitting next to me, but she was on the floor in the back of the van. And I was on the chair. Okay. And I we never talked or anything. But then her hand was on my lap. Yeah. And then my jacket was on my lap. And then she gave me a hand job on a little thing. That's and then it. it was crazy. And then we get off we get out of the car and she goes, See ya. <laughs> and I went See ya. Nah. And I'm like, is this like rogue angel gave me a hand job under a jacket? You don't know who it is? No idea who she... I mean, I looked at her, but we didn't like talk. Yeah. We weren't like friends. You go went to school with her? No. We she never was, saw her in the hallways? She was part of this Christian crew that was doing a ski trip, but they lure you in with the ski trip. Oh, sometimes you're with other... with the hand yeah. job. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great pitch. Yeah. Then I'll tell you this other one. Okay. Well, my first girlfriend ever was... Uh, she was a virgin. Yeah. And then we were together for like a year and a half. And then she used to have a ring that had the key on it. That was like the chest. Purity thing, ring. Purity yeah. ring. And then she had to take it off. And her thing, she used to do this. She would, uh, we would have secret sex, you know? But her thing was that she would never let, she would always make me come in her mouth. Uh-huh. Because she didn't want to deal with the mess. Right. And that was like the second girl I ever had sex with in my life. So I just thought that's what everyone was doing. Fucking angel. It was the reason God was close to her. And then... uh I haven't really had that since. <laughs> I should have clocked out right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My weirdest place would be that van, and then the other weirdest place would be behind a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> the van is weirder than behind the Chinese restaurant? Yeah, because there was a bunch of other people in the van. Well, I would imagine that the Chinese restaurant is a bustling, busy business. You might have guys throwing out old noodle water. Yeah, and you use yeah. You <laughs> barking <laughs> Chinese at you. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I can stay hard through all that. Oh, also... Eighth grade, this girl I was dating. Eighth grade? Eighth grade when I had sex. I think I've told you that. You knew that. I think I did, but it's just such a young... It's jarring. Because you were uh, young for... You were smart. You were only like... You were 11 in eighth grade, right? No, I was like 15. Oh, okay. I stayed back a way bunch. I'm thinking of Max. Yeah. I, uh... We're... Mom's Dodge Neon. <laughs> I'm sitting Not on... Not a large vehicle. I am sitting on the hump in the back. My girlfriend at the time takes my hand... Puts it under her shorts, basketball shorts. Yeah. And I, she's like making me finger her. And I'm staring into the rearview mirror. Her mother is staring <laughs> into my eyes. And I'm just like, oh. Does she know driving. what's going on? <laughs> I mean, maybe she knew, but she <laughs> didn't say anything. She would just fucking. <laughs> nah, she'd probably stop the car, right? <laughs> she would not just grill you. <laughs> Dude, I was what like, a sicko. Dude, I was staring into the mirror the way Max is staring at me right now. <laughs> yeah. Not blinking. Like she's gonna stab, me. drooling. Yeah, <laughs> writing racial slurs on my wall. Yeah, 
Um, Let's wrap this thing up because okay. I, I don't have a lot of energy left. All right. I really oh 48 nice uh let's tell them one more time about your special well thanks for having me first of all it's good to uh hang we haven't done it in a while so i appreciate it um that was for greg only max <laughs> <laughs> i love him uh i'll tell you this even when i don't have max in the podcast anymore i'm gonna just pretend he's here yeah and make fun of him you set up the step ladder yeah and i go shut up max and people go well, he's not even here Gonna miss you, Max. <laughs> you can check out uh, my special. It's called Check Right. It's uh, uh, October sixth on my YouTube channel, um, youtubecom slash Fiore. I was thinking about this the other day. Out of all the years I've been doing stand up, if you told me uh, Jeffrey Dahmer would have a Netflix special before I would, what? That's isn't that. He's got a fucking. It's all a TV people show? are talking about right now is the Jeffrey Dahmer Netflix show. I don't watch TV because of Calvin. Because I can't put the screen time, so I know nothing about what's happening on TV right now. I don't know how if I would be able to survive. What? Not watching anything. I can watch TV when he goes to bed. Oh well, he goes to bed at five o'clock. He goes to bed at seven, and then I go out to do spots at usually eight. You're not getting those early spots that early. Who are you fooling? Yeah, you're right. I go at three a.m. <laughs> but it's like I'm. Are so you going time. to the movies? No. No? I haven't seen anything really. I've been watching Andor and She-Hulk. Oh. That's about it. What? Is Are you never going to show him television? No, after a year. But he just turned a year. He's a birthday. It was his birthday. I know. I was there. So he'll get a little bit of, he'll get a little bit of, he'll get a little screen time now. But for the most part, we don't, we don't just want him sitting watching TV. Oh, is that something doctors tell you to do? Yeah, they're like. I'm pretty sure I was, day three, plopped down in front of the old tube. Yeah, I think me too, but it's different. Like it. I don't think the TV's quality was all that good. It's like there's too many colors. It's too jarring. Yeah, that's uh, it's like crazy. Then they give these kids the phones. Dude, my kid, Calvin's one. He grabs my phone and he looks at it. He just like, sorry, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, nah, man, this is gonna fuck you up, dude. I know, but it's gonna be so hard not to let it. all my friends say the same thing when they're like four year olds, and the four year olds are fucking wizards on these phones. Yeah, and it they just go, I know, but I just need a break. And they let him take the phone. You have no idea. Like right now, it's so hard. Like it's not even I need a break. It's like I just need him to do something that isn't maximum my energy. Maximum. Max. Like I put him in the, I just put him in the crib before and gave him a ball just because I'm like, I'll look at you and I'll smile. Yeah. But if he's not in the crib, he's running to every outlet. He's just trying to grab shit. And I'm like, and if he's not, he's screaming. And what I'm like, is it about the outlet? He loves outlets. He loves the holes. And I don't even think they love outlets. They love grabbing forks and trying to put them in outlets <laughs> how's he getting these forks well he doesn't i had to get one fork once i'll tell he, you, you know i was getting them what max, old max over he's here dropping the outlets. <laughs> dude i'm not even kidding fork fell on the ground he immediately grabbed it and went no and then went right for the outlet and tina was there and picked him up and i'm like how did he even think that this is like immediately went to kill himself maybe when they're babies they understand that life is meaningless yeah maybe if you believe in reincarnation a baby comes back from uh, somebody's past life, right? Yeah. Maybe that's them trying to get back to what the, they were. Yeah, I want to go back and be that pigeon again. Yeah. This sucks. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe pigeon wouldn't be the most optimal life. Are you flying around eating bread? That's not bad. Sucking each other's dicks. A little piece of Prada cheese. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not saying like, uh, thank God babies don't like no anything like imagine you were born full brain as a baby and you just can't walk for the first year you can't talk for the first year but you have all these real thoughts yeah I don't, is full brain the full brain. medical term yeah, yeah, yeah full brain full brain full brain gay brain really, i i, sorry, I like that as a name for a child i like max full brain corluzzo max will laugh he'll go ha 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 and then sometimes i'll do a dumb and he'll go ha 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 yeah ha 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 max and I go, thanks you. for laughing but it's not a real one all right, let's get out of here. First of all, follow Max on Max Marcus Comedy. I'm what? You tell your points. On everything. Uh, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. And you got a new podcast? Uh, it's not mine, but uh, it's uh, it's called Full Spread. Don't plug Take someone's ownership. podcast that's not your podcast. I don't have a podcast. I don't have my own podcast. I just work on other people. Plug my podcast. Let's cover up Max. <laughs> on Friday Night this guy's, <laughs> this guy's bilking four other comedians for 1200 a week. I know. Yeah, this, yeah, this guy yeah. makes three hundred eighty grand a year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Max, thanks for letting us abuse you. Yeah, thanks, yeah, thanks fun. You're the fucking best. And uh, I Andy, was kidding. Greg wasn't. Check right. It's check on Spotify. Right. Uh, it's going to be on Spotify. So all the everything, everything, everywhere, and go. Please watch it. I uh, I'm really proud. I think you'll like it. Please tell a friend. 
and uh, watch through the end because we did some really fun things. I think people will love in the credits. Oh yeah, that uh, actually. Yeah, I don't. It's just it's a teaser. You got to watch through the end. Okay. Also, follow me on Instagram. If I get ten thousand uh, subscribers to my Instagram by October thirty first, one, I'll be giving away a Spider Man figure. I decided, and two, my wife said she'll have sex with me again. All I need ten k. I'm gonna to start. Get that I'm gonna 10K. create fake accounts just to get these numbers up, dude. I have multiple people doing that trying to help me out here, and I really appreciate it. All right, we'll see y'all later. See ya. Big up your head. Big up your body, get on the bus, it's time to party, it's Gregory, it is a bad night, Gregory, take your socks off and take your pants on, get in the car.